Nah, actually, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, it's the craziest thing. Like, um, when people say, like, I was born like that. Like, literally, I don't I don't say I was born like that. But I'll tell people, like, I knew I was going to be gay in the second grade. When, you know, my mom's trying to make me put on girl clothes and I'm pulling my pants down. I need so how do your, um, how do your girlfriend feel about you driving? She is actually getting her CDL. Like she, she, she know everything I've been through, of course, with all three companies. Um, but I still encourage her to, you know, it, it's still, it's still a career. You know, it's always going to be a demand for truck drivers. Just the problem right now for the new drivers is getting in somewhere that's, that's beneficial and that's going to treat you good and, you know what I'm saying, um, get the experience and just get out the door until you can find something better. But no first, your first couple of jobs, you're going to run through them because you'll realize, okay, this ain't right. But a lot, it seems like a lot of the company drivers, honestly, it just seems like they okay with having to reset their laws or edit their laws and drive crazy. Like, they, they okay with it. They're like, if I stay here long enough, I'll get to the top. That's the mentality that it is in trucking. How how long you and her been together? Like how 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 long y'all been together and how y'all come together? We've been together for almost eight years. Um, we I'm from Lexington, North Carolina, so it's a small town. So we grew up knowing each other, and you know, just one day end up running back into each other as adults, and you know, hit things off like that. Did you have feelings for her back then? Or did all your nah, feel, nah. all your feelings for it came uh, when y'all became adults? Yeah, nah. I actually, I actually never really like you know. Not trying to be funny, but I actually never really looked her way. Like she, she knew of me, and I knew of her. But she was more so. I know me. I never approached females because being a stud, I go after the girly girls. So. You really can't tell if they gay or not. So I'm not finna approach no no woman and be like, hey, what's up? Can I get your number? Because she might not be into women. So I let them approach me. Okay, okay. So Abby, so how how old are you, Holly? I'm 34. I just turned 34 September 7th. All right. So you you 34 years old. Um, did you did you know at an earlier age that you know you had a you had a thing for women, like, what, or did you have a boyfriend, I, and, or did, was something? And hey, listen, don't don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Uh, and don't oh, no. don't take no offense of what I'm about to say next. But was there any was there any uh, situations with a dude that made you look women's way? Nah, actually, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, it's the craziest thing. Like. Um, when people say like I was born like that, like literally, I don't, I don't say I was born like that, but I'll tell people like I knew I was gonna be gay in the second grade when you know my mom's trying to make me put on girl clothes and I'm pulling my pants down, not even realizing what I'm doing. I'm just mimicking my brother. But I was, I remember like in second grade during recess when they had a little plastic playhouses out there on the recess, and you know kids play mom and daddy, but I'm out there, I want to be the daddy every time. Like I'm out there with the little girls. I don't want. I ain't interested in the boys. I wasn't interested in baby dolls or playhouses or none of that stuff like that. I was always outside. As as you growing up, uh, you know, doing your teenage years, how how was people uh, reacting to you when, you know, they kind of figured out that you was, you know, that you was into females. Um, I actually. I mean, a lot of people knew, uh, especially my family, because, you know, how I dressed. It, it just became a point where I wouldn't even wear girl clothes. By the time I got to middle school, they was they was buying me clothes out the boys' section. So my family already knew. They they didn't have a problem with that. They accepted me. Um, I'm biracial, so I have a black side and a white side. So nobody really said anything about that. Um, as far as, like, school and stuff, I mean, it was it was a couple it was a couple studs in the school or whatever like that, 
but I in the sixth grade I came out and told everybody in the classroom like, hey, I'm gay. If y'all got a problem with it, I don't care. And nobody had a problem with it. Like that's when a lot of girls start coming to me, like writing me letters and wanting to break my hair and all of that. <laughs> so yeah, I ain't had no problem with. It. And that's when other people start like coming out dressing like a boy, and I'm like, okay, all right, it's cool, whatever. Have you have you ever had any uh, <laughs> affections for guys? Have have you ever had that, or was it just all women? Yeah, no, I actually dated I actually dated like three guys, and it's just like I don't know. I just feel like the guys they they either be too soft or you know like they let me run up. Like I was in a relationship and I was still dating a girl, and I would tell them like I'm not putting on no girl clothes. Like, you cute, you attractive, you handsome, but I'm not wearing no girl clothes. And I am I got a girlfriend, and he was cool with me. So he was kind of like a dog. I ran over him. <laughs> and then the other two guys, it was just the two masks in them. Like, you want to put your heavy-ass muscle on the ram, and I'm trying to sleep. It's hot. Like, move. You got mustache and a beard. It's all scruffy. And we trying to, nah, it, <laughs> It's good. I can't do it. Have you ever thought of polyamory? Like, have I ever thought of what? Have you ever thought about polyamory? You know, poly polyamory you like, relationships? <laughs> you know, like, you, you your I girlfriend and a dude or, you know, or vice versa? Nah, I, I, did for, I did polygamy for like three years, actually, with two females. Oh, okay. So you did do uh so you did it with two females, uh polyamory. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Well, well, I, how did you and, feel uh, how did how did you feel about that? Or how how was the vibe? Uh, well, you know, I'm a I'm a female, so I know how females get. You you a man, so you know how females get. But dealing with two females at the same time, uh, at first it was cool, they was with it, but then it was Oh, you doing this for this person. Oh, you doing this for her. Oh, you doing this for her. Like, and then they start arguing. So it just started, it just started getting out of hand to where like they couldn't coexist together. So I just, you know. So they didn't drop one of them. Kept the they, one. they they didn't understand the assignment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. They they ain't understand the assignment. Uh, was you ever in a in a with with, with your current girlfriend of uh, eight years? Uh, was you ever in a was that the polyamory or was that before your girlfriend <laughs> of eight years? Nah, that that was that was her because I, I was actually in a relationship with with this one girl, and I met her. We was kind of like we was together for ten years, and we was kind of getting you know I was kind of getting tired of it. Like we arguing, and we just living together at this point seemed like roommates so when i met my current girlfriend i was just dipping off on my on my other girlfriend i just kept dipping off you know to talk to her and stuff like that and go go chill and stay the night or whatever but she knew i was with somebody and um i just kind of like talked them both in to like hey look this one i'm gonna do <laughs> like at first it wasn't like that at first it was i was sneaking over to her house or i get dropped off at one of their houses and be like I'm just running in to grab something. And I stay in there all night. <laughs> They'll be at the door, like, banging on the door, calling each other phones. Like, it, it was just, it was just, it was a roller coaster. You kind of consider yourself the, the, the stud part of the relationship. Uh, has, has anything else uh, that you want to, like, that did, have you ever thought of, you know, going through a transformation or anything like that or no? Oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh hell no. Nah. I'm not one I'm not one of them females just like, hey, call me a dude or my pronouns is he, him, and nah. I'm not one of those. I'm I'm very I have very feminine ways and a lot of my, you know, ex that oh, I don't know, you might as well just dress like a girl, but you know, nah, I'm not I'm not I ain't dressing like a girl, but I ain't one of those like Oh no, nah, I ain't comfortable with my body. I want to be a man. Nah, that's not me. I'm comfortable with my body. I, I mean, like being a lesbian, that's two girls. Why you want to do all that? 
you've been driving for over a year. Have, have any guys, uh, other than the trainer, have any guys try to <laughs> try to push up on you? Oh, for sure, for sure. And I pull up, you know, I don't wear, girl, I'm not wearing no tights or nothing in the truck. You know, it's obvious when I get out that I am what I am. They don't care. They like, oh, let me get the note. First, they'll, when I was doing the hot shot, because I was alone, I'm um, doing it over the road. And I pull up somewhere or pull up to a truck stop or pull up to a load or whatever. And the guys come running out there and, you know, conversation. Oh, how you like the truck? It's a nice truck. It's a nice setup. How do you like hot shot? It always starts like that. And then it's like, oh, where you from? Well, can I get your number? I'm like, uh, like they were literally, I'm a, I almost got hit one day because two two guys was in a big truck in an 18 wheeler. And they were so, they were so focused on me on the highway. We in dead traffic at a standstill, barely moving at, you know, a little bit at a time that they about running to my trailer looking at me. So I had it put on my flashes, get out, because I thought they actually hit it. So I got out and I looked, and I'm like, no, nah, y'all good. So <laughs> two miles down the road, they stand side by side, yelling down at me, talking to me like, hey, where you going? Da, da, da. Yeah, it's crazy. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me out?